everybody, Tim Norris. And Carmen Norris. And welcome to a game review of Marvel Legendary. Paint the Town Red. That's right. So this is the new Spider-Man expansion, or, you know, you could call it the Paint the Town Red, but it's the Spidey expansion, let's face it, okay? We got two new Spider-Men, we got three new Spidey friend kind of guys, <laughs> two new masterminds that work against Spidey. It's the Spidey expansion, but hey... Let's show you what you're getting inside the box, and we're going to come back here, and we're going to give you our thoughts of where we think this expansion ranks in Marvel Legendary. All right, so let's take a look at what we're getting in the expansion. Uh, we got five new heroes that are stacked down here. Uh, we have Moon Knight, we have Spider-Woman, we have Symbiote Spider-Man, or Black Suit Spidey. We have the Scarlet Spider, um, which a lot of people may not be familiar with the Scarlet Spider, unless you're really familiar with Spider-Man. Uh, typically, you're just ready used to the red suit Spidey and then the black Spidey. Well, he's a little bit different um, from, from a you know different uh, universe, kind of. And then uh, we also have Black Cat. Uh, let's talk about the heroes real quick, Carmen. Um, black Cat probably is my least favorite out of the group, but I do like how each of them have this wall crawl ability. Yeah. And uh, wall crawl lets you, whenever you recruit them, they go on top of your deck instead of into your discard pile. And that allows you to create some pretty neat combos. I really uh, enjoy the wall crawl, and I noticed that with this set of heroes, there are a lot of inexpensive heroes as well. Yeah, and that's kind of um, made the base set Spider-Man a little bit more powerful, which is good. All right, so now we've also got the Sinister Six, and that's these right here. What's interesting is we have Kraven, we have uh, the Chameleon, we have Hobgoblin, we have Sandman, and then we have two Vultures and two Shockers. Um, and then what they do a lot of is kind of like each of them have like ambush abilities for the most part. Um, I thought it was neat that Chameleon can mimic the character that's underneath him. But overall, um, Sinister Six I almost think could have been a, a Mastermind stack, which I thought would have been cool. Um, it's neat that they're a hench, or not a henchman, but a villain group. Um, they do work uh, well. They, they uh, typically I think it's I believe it's Mysterio who who utilizes the. Uh, the, yes, uh, he always six. leads the Sinister Six. Mm -hmm. um, and then we also have Maximum Carnage. Now, mm -hmm. oddly enough, now I'm not super familiar with Maximum Carnage, and I don't know if you are either, Carmen. Uh, no, uh, I can tell you that I really enjoy the feast feature of these. Right, villains. okay, so each of them have the feast. And, right. and, and what's that keyword do? Uh, that actually KOs the top card of your deck. So you really have to pay attention to uh, what cards you have to know whether or not you really want to go after them because you might not want to KO the top card of your but, deck. But it's a good way of thinning down your deck as it well. It is also a good way of thinning down your deck, exactly. And then we have our two new masterminds, which Carnage leads the Maximum Carnage, and he always has the Feast ability too. Now, he's not super difficult to defeat, but once again, you have to be careful whenever you fight him. He could possibly uh, hurt you because of that Feast ability. And then Mysterio uh, is pretty cool because uh, whenever you use him, you actually add the um, Master Strikes Master Strikes to his pile as right. a so, tactic yeah. that you have to attack. So it's almost like an extra life that you're dealing with every time you flip a Master right. Strike. So And it's kind of fun. I, I think it, both of these are, and we'll get that into our conclusion of what we think of them. But we also have four new Scheme Twists. I, I don't think we've played every single one of these yet, but I do know that we've played uh, three of them, and yeah. so far we've enjoyed all three of these. So, uh, all right, hey, that's everything you're getting in this expansion. So we've got our five new heroes, we got two new villain groups, four new scheme twists, and two new masterminds. And why don't we get in our conclusion and let's see where this one ranks in the expansions of Marvel Legendary. All right, so that's everything that you're getting in the expansion. So let's um, kind of do this in order. Um, let's talk about the heroes first. Uh, each of them have a new um, keyword, which is the wall crawl, which is a great new power. I love yeah. how you can put them on top of your deck versus the discard pile. You know you're going to be using them immediately, so uh, there's a little more planning involved in what you're going to buy. But it also can bite you in the butt if you're not careful because you got to keep rem you got to remember the feast ability of the bad guys, and they could eat right. that card. So you got to be careful. So defeat the bad guy first. And then recruit. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Now, um, yeah. I spoke about when we were showing the, the cards themselves that Black Cat's not quite my favorite. You know, I don't know if I... She does have... I was looking through her cards again right before our conclusion. She does have some really good cards. She has I, I, I was very premature with that. I think she's probably my least favorite out of the group of the five, but yeah. she's not weak in, in, in any comparison. 
She has a lot of uh, abilities where you manipulate cards. You can choose to discard them, you can put them on top of your deck and uh, reveal them and use their power. She feels pretty thematic too. I, I like how she can uh, like borrow you know, the, the card yeah. from an opponent's deck even. So she's really kind of cool in there. I enjoy using her. Now, um, Spider Woman, the, her most powerful <sighs> card yeah. that costs seven recruit points, Yeah, it's just... Useless. This one here... Um, that does it, not help you defeat a villain. Yeah, it, it, it's an okay card, but it's, it doesn't have any attack or... Re well, it does have recruit, obviously, but it doesn't it have doesn't any attack. Have any attack. It, and you got to have attack if you're going to spend that much money. But I don't know. If you think about it, if, you're gonna be, if you get her early, she could be very powerful. The problem is that you got to get her early. But so. she helps you recruit expensive cards, and she is an expensive card. Right, I just feel right. like it's kind of Kind of silly. It's, it's like, why Why not just buy the other expensive card? Exactly. Right. I understand yeah. that. Um, Scarlet Spider, really powerful. Really cool. Really powerful. Um, he seems to be the strongest. And his expensive cards are worth it. <laughs> yeah. And he's, he's got three of them that he, are really good. And unlike him, okay, Moon Knight needs like specific things to occur for him to become super powerful like you gotta fight him on the rooftops you right know? scarlet spider's just beating the crap out of everything mm -hmm. um which i love that now symbiote spider-man awesome the fact that all of his cards are super cheap everything's two or less yes I so mean, he I comes in handy ones. yeah know, big time and so he's got wall crawl, mm -hmm. and they're inexpensive, so yeah. that, that's very helpful. So the five new heroes are definitely have a nice balance, and playing them all together is just a hoot, man, a lot of fun. Um, and then we got our two new villain groups. We've got the uh, Sinister Six and the uh, Maximum Carnage. Now, we're not familiar with Maximum Carnage. I'm a Marvel fan, but I'm, I, I, I recognize some of the characters. Don't get, don't get me wrong. I just don't ever remember that group. Right. Um... But the Sinister Six. Now, my, my thinking on the Sinister Six is, is I almost think they could have been a mastermind, and I mentioned that, is that um, why not create a mastermind group where the you just flip up a card and that's the next Sinister Six character that you have to defeat, you know? Um, but it is cool that they did actually at least incorporate them as a villain group. I like that. Yeah, and with Maximum Carnage, I gotta say I really enjoy their feast ability. I think it's fun to play with. You have to pay attention to what's on top of your deck because it's going to get eaten. Yeah, and the good thing is it's a great way of thinning your deck down. So yeah. it's not always a bad thing at all. Yeah. Now we've got our two new masterminds. We've got Carnage and we've got Mysterio. Let's talk about them. Now, neither one of these... I mean, it almost feel, feels like that they took it a little bit easier on us this time versus Dark City and Fantastic Four. Galactus was a beast, eating the city. Right. Oh, just difficult as crazy to defeat. These guys aren't that hard to defeat, but yet they're super fun to play against. I love it. So Mysterio's really cool because, you know, you keep stacking up the, uh, what do you call them? The, 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 the tactics. The, the, the uh, Master Strikes Mastermind become the tactics. Tactic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. He keeps getting more and more. And so, you know, that could end up being bad depending on how the Master Strikes are stacked. Right. And so basically what he... It's like he's not hard to defeat because I think he's only got eight life, if I remember correctly. Right. Yeah. Um, but what he becomes difficult to do is the fact just to defeat him before you run out of time on the villain deck. So that's the trick with him. And if you're defeating a Master Strike, you're not getting any kind of bonus. A lot of times, you know, the Mastermind Tactic will have a bonus on it. Right, but you're still getting six points, so at it, least you're getting Yeah, that. you are. Um, and then Carnage, of course, once again, has the Feast ability, so you've got to be careful. And yeah, I love the one card... Fun. It actually says, oh, nom, 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 at the top of it, and that's just hilarious. Um, yes. So very thematic, very cool on, on each one of them as well, wouldn't you say? Yes, yeah, so I would say overall, you know, I really enjoy playing it as a theme. Um, now, we've got the four new tactics as well that are scheme twists or schemes that we're having to deal with. Um, now, we've played three of the four, and all of them, I tell you, man, this has been a really fun um, expansion. And let's talk about that for a minute, because if you have the base set of Marvel Legendary... And, and we've had Dark City, we've had the Fantastic Four, and we've had now this new Spidey um, expansion come out. Dark City's your number one you got to pick up still, in my opinion. To, that's the first expansion you got to grab. If you were debating between Fantastic Four and this one, which direction would you go? That's really tough, because I really enjoy the villain scheme twist combo in the Fantastic Four. I mean, that was great. But I think I prefer these heroes. Okay. Well, I prefer the heroes from Fantastic Four because I like just the Fantastic Four group, okay? Mm -hmm. um, you know, because you, you was able to get Silver Surfer and all that. Um, I'm not as familiar with these heroes as much. Of course, Spidey. We know Spidey, okay? But <laughs> I'm not super familiar with Moon Knight nor Spider-Woman. Neither one of them appeal much to me. Um, 
I, I loved the focus ability in the Fantastic Four, but I love, I mean, just love, love, love this wall crawl ability in this one. I, I don't know. It's debatable, man. These are all really good. I like the, oh gosh, what are you going to say? Because, you know, Fantastic Four had Galactus, and Galactus yeah. was a hoot to play against. I feel like this expansion lends itself towards mixing it in with the base set more than the Fantastic Four does. Well, yeah, I could possibly see that. So overall, all right, look, we can't rank them. We, we think they're all great, okay? You need them all, <laughs> you so buy them all. get this one too. <laughs> um, okay, so let's talk about a few things we wouldn't mind seeing happening. Uh, later. Uh, well, just one main thing. Um, okay. uh, I wouldn't mind seeing that the wound deck become something different where it stays face down and possibly when you draw the wound it could be something different. Maybe not necessarily even a wound bar, but some type of an effect that occurs. You know what I'm saying? Like the bystanders are different sometimes now mm -hmm. uh, since the expansion. So the wounds, they could maybe do something with So those. hopefully we start seeing that in the future. Um, other than that, I mean, wow, what a great expansion. Um, definitely pick it up. We definitely recommend it. Anything else you'd like to say? Just have fun. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. bye Check out Griffin Gaming for new releases and pre-orders. Enter the promo code GRAYELEPHANT and receive 5% off of your order.